back to code glancer so in the today's video we are going to discuss about the security testing of any java application so if you are using spring boot application and you have a maven project so you must be using a lot of uh, jar as a dependency and these jar may be uh, outdated after some times so how do you how do you track like uh, this jar is having some issues or not okay so if your jar is having some issue that is called vulnerable jar so how will you find uh, okay if there is any problem in this jar or not time to time basically so at the time of development you might be using the okay always the uh, correct jar means error free jar but this jar may be having some issue after some time okay so now we are going to discuss some tools which will help you to find the vulnerabilities in the third party jar so thanks to the sync so sync is one of the tool which helps in finding the vulnerabilities in your application so basically this this tool you can integrate in your build pipeline or this can tool you can even integrate as a maven uh, plugin in your code so today if your project is a maven so i am going to explain you, you the maven way so if you want to know like what sync tool do so sync is a popular security tool that helps identify and address the security vulnerabilities in the software project including the java application so it is not specifically uh, only for the java but you can use for the python as well but i am just going to uh, use this in my one of the uh, ongoing project that is like security uh, on one of the project which is uh, interview management application as you already know so i will discuss in that context so what what is the first work uh, this sync tools does so first work it does is like it scans your all the dependencies so it is scanned through the pom.xml right and then in the second step it find any of the vulnerabilities there in your application and in the third steps it also recommend okay so if x is the jar and x is vulnerable jar so how you can fix that basically and this uh, next one is like how do you integrate uh, in your uh, project so this is like using the ci cd tool you can integrate and uh, so this can be used if you integrate like for uh, continuous monitoring your application all right so now we have to find like how we can integrate the sync tool okay so to integrate your uh, the sync tool there is a very easy way to uh, integrate it so if you see here we have to add one plugin in your pom.xml so artifact id and group id is this version is this and inherited you have to write as a false and there are some set of steps which you want to execute so here uh, execute execution goal is test and then we have added as a monitor you can add some something else as well uh, okay and then here is the main part which is the configuration so for doing the configuration first of all you have to add the api keys and i am adding for all the project okay so whatever the project uh, it has in the gitlab uh, basically it will scan for uh, all so how will you get this uh, sync api uh, token so for doing this you have to just logging in one of the bio site uh, called uh, sync.io so you can uh, you can basically go here and if you see here i am using one of the uh, sync.io so let me just type it uh, okay so if i type here sync.io so this is going to uh, open and then you have to basically log in here so if you are doing first time you have to sign up and you have to create the profile so to save the time i have already created my profile and i have already generated my uh, what do you call uh, sync uh, api key and i have added the github project if you want to integrate directly through the github project you can also uh, add it here all right so you can just see it like here there is a setting so from the settings you can get the api key so if you if you go here uh, basically you will be able to get the api key from the general setting right so now 
now once you have the api keys once you have the here is the settings so from here you can go and get the api key basically so once you have the api key that api key you have to use in your project okay so uh, i am not showing my api key i have added is one of the properties so in the same way you can add this as one of the properties uh, that's all so it's all done so now once you run mvn clean install what it will do it will scan your uh, complete jars and if there is any vulnerabilities it will report and as you see like this is part of a uh, maven a clean build install process so if there is any issue it will list and then it will fail your uh, build basically so let me run and show you so uh sorry i i clicked on the wrongs uh i just stop it so i have to click on the install basically so it will just try to do whatever i have written into the maven form.xml so this is just running some test and all all right So in this project like we have written couple of uh, integration test case and unit test case so those are basically taking some time so uh, just give some time to the sync so now the sync if you see it is it is started so it is just uh, checking the vulnerabilities in your project so if there are any vulnerabilities it will list down here. So for the time being when it is running I can just go to my project whatever the project I have added and I can basically so this is my interview scheduler app and if I go to the analysis uh, okay so it will it will show you so if you see here uh, it is complaining uh, here for CSRF attack and here also it is comp complaining for CSRF attack so there are a couple of CSRF attacks uh, apart from this uh, okay so there is one more thing I just wanted to show you from where it will find the vulnerabilities uh, just give me one second hurry up hurry up interview scheduler let me go to the dashboard and it if there is any vulnerabilities it will keep uh, doing email to you also so meanwhile we will come here and see yeah so now this build is uh, completed and if you see like it has already complained for couple of jars so if you see here so first one is like uh, uh, this is complaining for low this is like category is low severity and it is complaining for arg.yaml file all right and uh, second it is complaining for uh, this spring boot related so if you see in this way like there are couple of jar which are vulnerable to this applications and i need to fix it and if you If you come to here all right so you can just see it uh, when you integrate with here you, you will be able to see those so what are the issue and how these can be fixed right so if you see here these are 32 issues in my project and here the critical high medium low all of these are showing and then we have a fixes also recommendation so if you see like uh, it is saying uh, there is a vulnerability for postgres sql jar and this is the version uh, 42.2.23 and it is saying like it is fixed in 42.3.3 so you need to upgrade to this one 
and then it is saying for spring web starter for 5.2.3 but it is saying like it is fixed in 3.0.0 okay so similarly it is for the starter mail api it is saying 2.5.3 and it is fixed in 2.5.14 right so this is very useful uh, tools to find the vulnerabilities of your find the vulnerabilities in your uh, project and fix it time to time okay so i hope you find this video uh, useful and if there is uh, any problem in your applications uh, so in this way in integrating the sync tool you can find the third party vulnerabilities uh, and basically you can fix it so thanks for watching this channel and uh, i will update uh, more and more video i will i will upload more and more video so please do like and subscribe uh, thank you very much